You know, when it comes to authority, we have to realize that everybody has one. This is why it's so important. There is no one on this planet who doesn't rest in an authority for what they believe and how they live. And so you have some people who embrace some philosophical idea or teaching. You have others who embrace a false religion. You have those who are their own authority. That's the most popular source of authority today is people who, they don't really trust anyone else. They sort of piece together their own, if I can put it this way, their own quilt of authority. They take pieces from here and there and it becomes, it becomes the basis of what they believe. A little of this and a little of that and a little of this. And when you do that, you're your own authority. You've decided, you know, what is really true. Well, when it comes to us as, as true Bible-believing Christians, it's clear what our authority should be. Our Lord couldn't have made it any clearer. He affirmed the authority of the Old Testament in Matthew 5 when he, he made it very clear his view of Scripture, the existing Scripture at the time, the Hebrew Scriptures. And then he picked the men who would write the New Testament. He handpicked them, authorized them to be his legal representatives, infusing the New Testament with the same authority. And of course, he spoke of his own words as, as being every bit as authoritative and, and continuing in that authority as the Old Testament. So you put all of that together, and the scriptures we have are infused with and represent the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so they are the authority that I, as a New Testament believer, am supposed to embrace. So you can see why that's so important, because I'm going to rely on something as my authority. Either it's my own mind, what I think, some you know, internet source, um, some religious person, somewhere I'm going for an authority. And where better to go than our Lord Jesus Christ and the authority that He authorized and gave us. And that is the Hebrew Scriptures that we call the Old Testament and the New Testament that He Himself put in place. And so when you then embrace that authority, it becomes the final word in everything. Whatever your authority is, that's the final word. And so if, if the Scriptures are in fact my final authority, then I don't go to my own thinking. I don't say, well, I think, no. The first question I ask on any issue is, what does the Bible say? What does God say? And that becomes the authority in my life. And that's what we're called to do as believers. We're called to ultimately say, let God be true and every man a liar. What has he said? And that's what I'm gonna stick my life and my eternity on. So the question to ask yourself in every case is, what does the Bible say? And when you come to the scripture, first of all, you need to be in it because you can say it's your authority all you want, but if it's on the shelf and you're never consulting it, you're never really asking yourself, what does the scripture teach about this issue that I'm confronted with? then it's not really your authority. I mean, Jesus himself said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? So he's not your authority if you're not obeying him, if you're not doing what he said in his word. So you start by consulting it. What does it say? You have to know what it says. And then you let it weigh in on the practical decisions of life. Every day, as you are confronted with issues, you're asking yourself, does the scripture speak to this? And if it does, what does it say? This is Deuteronomy 6, right? This is whether, when you're walking by the way, you're asking yourself, what does the scripture say? And you're talking to your kids and those under your care about the same thing. You're constantly living in the midst of the scripture. You're meditating on it. You're thinking about how it implements in daily life. If it's gonna be your authority, it can't just be in your, your spoken creed. It has to be in the reality of the decisions you make every day.